What is going on guys, your boy Jason, welcome to the Barbershop Talk episode 1. Basically, this is just a big discussion forum. I'm going to ask a topic, uh, you know, probably daily, man. I really would love to get you guys feedback and just make a discussion forum out of the comment section and just talk about sports, man. And uh, the thing today, as uh, you guys see in the title, greatest sports movie of all time, I was watching... As my wife was getting ready to go to Florida, I mean, uh, leave her to go to Connecticut for a week, um, you know, I am sitting here and like, you know, let me watch a couple movies to pass the time. Flight's at 4 a.m. in the morning, so it's like, I gotta keep myself up, driver there. So it's like, okay, let's uh, let's just watch a couple movies. And I saw a couple sports movies and it got me thinking. I saw two really, really awesome movies and uh, got me thinking, uh, wonder what you guys' opinion of the greatest sports movie of all time. There's a lot of options, you know, a lot of people think like Rocky is the greatest, you know, sports movie of all time, a lot of people go back with like Hoosiers, and there's a a, a lot of options, and sports movies are some of, to me, some of the best movies out, like there's nothing to me better than a really, really aspiring sports movie, I, I mean, I love sports as it is. And to, to watch a really, really good sports movie is just, like, awesome. And I'm glad that there's so many to choose from because there's a lot of great ones. Uh, my favorite, well, I'm, I'm going to go with my top three. And, again, I would love your guys' opinion on, you know, your uh, top uh, three. Um, again, they got, there's so many movies. You got, like, Ali, uh a league of their own Jerry Maguire I love Jerry Maguire man show me the money Phil the dreams is a classic uh Major League my god Major League is one of the best sports comedies of of all time uh there's just the rookie you guys remember the rookie with, with the Cubs though the Cubs that's going way back that's going way back um my my top 3 is um my number three is Remember the Titans. Absolute great movie. Also inspired by a true story. Uh, I love stories with meaning. Like a movie with with meaning that can you can apply to life. Like if I can watch a movie and at the end of it, if I could sit there and be like, you know, I could show my son this movie and he could learn how to live a certain way in life from this movie then I automatically five stars one of the best movies I've, I've ever seen if I can sit down and show him and be like you see you can learn something from this movie and remember the Titans is an awesome movie Denzel uh, to me is the best actor ever born ever there's not one person that I believe can out act Denzel Washington that man can look at a freaking jar of mayonnaise and cry on point just Boom, that man has so much passion and soul. Those are two words that I describe. When I see Denzel's passion and soul, he takes his role and he brings it to another level. He makes you feel his character is like a true to life. It's, oh my God, like Denzel is amazing. And the way he did Coach Boone in that movie, spectacular. And what you can learn about that movie is like... Differences don't matter. That was a movie that was portrayed, I don't know when was it, like the 70s or whatever it was. There was still segregation kind of going around. You know, the blacks didn't mingle with the whites. The whites didn't mingle with the blacks. And uh, they, he only got the football job because they had, they basically needed a, a African-American coach there. And it, it's just a, a big story, but it, it's an awesome movie. And uh, that's my number three greatest sports movie of all time. And it's not a coincidence that, I mean, maybe I should say it is a coincidence that my top three sports movies are all football movies. But number two is The Gridiron Gang with my boy The Rock. The Gridiron Gang is another true story. And that is another amazing, amazing movie with values in it. And... Is just like I, I can sit back and watch that movie and just really feel, you know, what the characters are are, are going through. You know, a, a lot of them, if you guys don't know what the Gridiron Gang is, 
uh, basically it's a bunch of kids in a, a juvenile detention center you know basically they've been arrested for crimes and they're too young to go to jail so they go to like this juvenile center and uh, basically jail for juveniles and uh, everybody fought with each other you know everybody's in there for doing bad things and I believe it was in California I'm not sure where it took place but a uh, majority of them you know belonged in gangs and you know one gang don't like this gang this gang don't like that gang and they all fight with each other all the time and so uh the rock being one of i don't know what his exact uh title is at you know the profession he was doing but uh it's him in exhibit and he kind of just driving home one day he sees the football team practicing at night and so he brings it up you know let's have a football team it'll teach them discipline it'll teach them um you know how to listen it'll teach them how to be a team and it's just a really amazing story and again that's another movie you know i could show my son and be like you know what this is another movie where you know don't let anybody ever tell you that you know you're a loser that's exactly what you know the head coach from that team was was telling them since day one everybody thinks you're a loser nobody thinks you deserve a second chance everybody thinks that you belong in jail and you're going to end up dead or in prison and uh, they showed at the beginning of the movie that 75% of kids that went to that place either ended up in, in jail or dead. And uh, that is crazy. So that is another good sports movie, man. And I'm, I'm so excited to read your guys' comments on uh, what it is you guys think. My number one greatest sports movie of all time. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Can't nobody tell me different. Is Rudy. I don't think there is another better movie than the movie Rudy. The movie Rudy, in case you guys don't know, is all about heart determination and not letting nobody, even if nobody in the world believes you, not even your own father in the movie, not even your own father, if nobody in this world believes that you are capable of doing anything, all you need to do is believe in yourself work hard and you can achieve anything and that's all that movie is about even though he technically only played for one play the the way the movie plays out the way everything happened it's amazing to know that him at that time in his position it's another true story that everybody doubted him nobody believed that he would ever play for notre dame he was too small you know, he, he didn't have the physical attributes to go ahead and compete with that type of the div Division One ball. And but one thing that he did have that nobody could take away from him is heart. And heart is something that you cannot teach. There's certain things in sports you can't teach. That's why in basketball you could be a tall scrub, but if you're tall, you can always play because you can't teach height. You can't teach Allen Iverson to, to be six seven. If you're seven one, even if you're a scrub. You're going to dominate high school. You're going to dominate college because you're one of the very few lucky kids to go ahead and be tall and you can't teach height. You know, you can teach how to catch a ball. You can teach how to throw a curveball. You can teach how to shoot a free throw. You can teach how to shoot a slap shot. You cannot teach heart. You cannot teach determination for you to want to outwork everybody and for you to want to be the best. You cannot teach you wanting to show the world that you can make this happen even though nobody is believing you and that's all that movie is about that is a movie that you can apply to anything in life if nobody believes in you whether you want to be a cook or you want to be you know if you do want to be a basketball player if you want to be a poet if you want to be a painter if you want to be an astronaut if everybody in the world doesn't believe you if everybody tells you it's not going to happen every day of your life if everybody tells you it's never going to happen and you're a loser as long as you believe you can do it as long as you have the heart, drive, and determination to believe that you can do it, as long as you believe the end result is you being whatever it is you want to be, you can make it happen. That's all that movie teaches, and I think that right there is the greatest sports movie of all time, in my opinion. I would love to know what you guys think. Please, please, please leave in the comment section your top three movies or your top one or your top two or you know reasons why this movie sucked if somebody else had number one you're like what that movie sucks you know but please leave in the comment section let's just have a big discussion for i'm really really excited like i said i saw a bunch of sports movies recently and i'm really excited to see what you guys think it's your boy gs man i'm signing out peace give it to me baby